All right, so I'm going to try and think through this one the way that um, you will eventually think through them yourself. Um, so it's kind of a, it's one of those things where right now it may feel difficult, but the more that you think these through, um, the easier it'll get. So believe in yourself and don't give up. Okay, so in this situation, I'm trying to get an answer that equals 2 and 8 tenths. So currently, I would have to add this first, which would make 2 and 5 tenths. Hmm. So if I have 2 and 5 tenths here, and then at the beginning, I would be... Um, after I got rid of those parentheses, then I would just say 5 and 5 tenths minus 2 tenths. Um, and then I would be adding 2 and 5 tenths. I should be making my number way too large. Um, I wish there was some way to subtract. Let's see. More. Hmm. What if I was able to group together everything on the right side of the problem? Um, and then I would be like adding this part to this part. And then that would be making this one big number that I would subtract from 5 and 5 tenths. That might work. So um, I'm trying to get rid of, let's see, I'm trying to get rid of about 2 and 3 tenths. So let's, let's check it out. OK, so let's try it. If we put the brackets there, Let's use our order of operations and find out what happens. Let's see if getting all of these things inside brackets together as one number before we take it away from 5 and 5 tenths will be enough to get our number as small as 2 and 8 tenths. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to, oops, we're going to add because that's what's inside brackets. And that's what's inside parentheses within the brackets. So we're going to add 2 plus 0 and 5 tenths. But remember, the 2, I'm using an emoji 0. Make it a little bit easier to add those together. All right, so I get 2 and 5 tenths when I add 2 plus 5 tenths. So now my parentheses can disappear because I have an operation symbol. And I can also get rid of that 0 because that's just another digit that I don't need on the 0 and 2 tenths. All right, and then after that, I'm going to have the 5 and 5 tenths still, and then the minus sign. So now I have 2 and 5 tenths plus 2 tenths, which makes 2 and 7 tenths. All right. So 2 and 7 tenths is what we are going to replace 2 and uh, 2 tenths plus 2 and 5 tenths with. And we can get rid of the brackets because there is an operation sign. So we, now we have 5 and 5 tenths minus 2 and 7 tenths. So let's see if that equals 2 and 8 tenths. Oops, minus 2 and 7 tenths. So I have to borrow 15 minus 7 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. So I drop my decimal point. Looks like it works. So by putting brackets around this section over here, we were able to get the largest number possible to subtract from. If we didn't put the brackets around there, we would have subtracted 2 tenths, but then we would have gone right around and added 2 and 5 tenths again. So by putting this all in brackets, we turned this number that we were subtracting into a larger number. So that is the power of grouping symbols. <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot, and it's one of those things that, once again, you'll get e uh, better at as you practice more and as you try more problems. So let's see. Let's, wow, let's see how we can make this turn into zero. All right, so um, tr we don't have anything that says time zero. <laughs> Usually it's as easy as saying time zero. So think about where you could put brackets to make this expression simplify to zero. And we'll come back and try it out.